All right, so first things first, we need to connect our two URLs.py files together. So basically what happens is when our project fires up, when somebody comes to our website for the first time, our project sort of calls this very first URLs.py file that got created way back at the beginning when we first created our project, the one that's inside the stocks.py file. And it does whatever this thing says. Well, right now this thing doesn't say anything except we have this admin page that we already looked at, and that's pretty much it. So what we need to do in this file is write some code that lets our project know, hey, go over to that other URLs.py file in our quotes directory and get the paths from that one. And anytime you create a new app, you'll add this code for that app. We just have one app right now, so we just have really one thing to add. But first, before we do that, we need to add something called include. So we just put a comma on the end of this and type in include. So from Django URLs, import include. And include is a little module that allows us to include other files in this file, right? So we can now include those files. So to do that, we just type in path. And almost every time we create uh, something in our URLs.py file, we're creating a path. It's a path to the URL, basically. So we want to now designate what our homepage is going to be. And it's going to be inside of our quotes app. So our homepage has no path, right? So remember when we went to the admin thing, we typed in uh, slash admin, right? This thing right here is this thing right here, right? So what we want now is our home page. So go back here. There's nothing there. We just want slash nothing, right? So we want to change this page from this little rocket ship to our whatever our new home page is going to be. So the path is nothing. It's just slash nothing. So right here, we just have nothing in between the quotation marks, right? Make sense? So you know, if we wanted this to be, you know, something, then it would be now something, right? We want nothing there. So we're just leaving it blank. Hopefully that makes sense. Blank. So right now we need to point this to where, you know, wherever it's going. So we want to now include, include, which is this guy right here, right? And then what do we want to include? We want to include quotes.urls. There we go. And we want a comma at the end of this. Now, what is quotes.urls? That is right here, quotes.urls. We want to include this file. Now, there's nothing in this file yet, but there will be very shortly, right? So basically, we're saying, hey, all of the paths to all the URLs for the quotes app need to point to the quotes.urls file, right? Makes sense? So control S to save this, command S. Uh, if you're on a Mac, we're just file save. And now head over to your, our urls.py file in our quotes directory. And we need to, to add a few things here. And what I usually do is I usually just copy all of this and then just paste it in. Now we don't need to include in this file so we can get rid of that. And this is the admin stuff. We don't need that for this one. We basically just need from django.urls import path. And then, well, that's pretty much it for now. We'll change this more in a bit. So what we need to do is type in, well, I'll also usually just copy this and paste it because we need a URLs pattern thing, but these things are going to be different. And uh, we'll get into all of this probably in the next video. What we need now is to create a path to a home page, but we haven't created the home page yet. So I think we'll do that in the next video. This one's getting a little bit long. Uh, so we'll start that in the next video.